This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The state softball tournament continuing today, and we begin with the lone coverage area team in the winner's bracket. Lauren DeLong and Jayla Spurlock ready to go for Johnson Central. Spurlock the hero in last night's game, delivering a walk-off single for the school's first ever state tourney win, top one. Brooklyn Willa chops one past Bailey Daniel. That scores Nikki Gibbs from second. 1-0 Warren East. Next batter, Peyton Calvert. She strikes out. Ball touches the ground, so the ball has to be thrown to first to complete the out. Then Rachel Fairchild, the bullet to third for the double play to end the inning. But Johnson Central falls 1-0 to Warren East, and the Lady Eagles would have their season come to an end in their next game against Mercy, 7-1. You know, it's just a great experience all the time. How many times you come? It's 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 uh, you get used to it. You get used to the surroundings and what to expect. But still, yet you bring you always bring new kids down. So it's great to see them enjoy it and experience it. And then the girls that, that keep playing for you. Unfortunately, the the worst part is getting ready to talk to the team. We're losing three girls, especially two of them, the twins, Rachel and Rebecca, that have been around since sixth, seventh grade. So. It's hard to lose a two like that that's had such great careers as high school softball players for us and done tremendous stuff for our program. Michaela Viers back in the circle today as North Laurel hooks up with Montgomery County in an elimination game in the loser's bracket. This isn't really about what she did pitching, though. Top third runner on second. Viers at the dish, and she unloads one to deep center. Her second two-run home run of the game Celebrating with her teammates when she makes it back home to home base. 4-0 North Laurel later in the inning with two outs. This time it's Abby Prophet hits one way up in the air. Routine, anything but. Another run scores North. Shuts out Montgomery County 7-0. And as you see, the Lady Jaguars also shut out defending state champion Scott County 2-0 to advance in the loser's bracket and keep their season alive. Shirley Beard trying to keep her Estill County Lady Engineers in the tournament. Estill taking on Notre Dame in an elimination game. Bottom one, Zoe Deaton gets just a piece of it. Pitcher can't handle the throw. Actually, Deaton makes it to first base. The next play, Deaton is going to hit it back to the pitcher. She can't handle the throw. McKaylee Muncy is going to come in to score for Estill County. They ties the game at one apiece. Next batter, first pitch. Gets away. Here comes Angel from third. Slides in safely for another Estel run. Estel would win it 2-1, but in its next game, Estel falls to Anderson County. 11-0, bringing an end to their season. Um, well, I know I had the quickest team I've ever had. It's the quickest and, it, and the fastest, and, and they stay pretty well positive, but we struggled kind of in the middle. But then we come out, and we kind of peaked when we needed to in that 14th, you know, in their district and region there. So, um, I, I don't know. I just always have good talent, and I love the girls. So, <laughs> it's just fun coaching. While softball is being played in the western part of the state, some golf being played today in Prestonsburg. Teams from all over the area gathering at Stonecrest Golf Course for the 22nd annual WYMT Golf Classic. The winning team was that of Dr. Michael McKinney, whose team finished the day with an impressive score of 23 under par. Well, it was wonderful. Great day, beautiful weather. And we had six Eagles, which is just about unheard of. So we played really well. Well, we're all golfers, and uh, we have family that works for WYMT. So. We're all really close friends and play together a whole lot. 